It was a special holiday on Mr. Quinn's railway. Aaron the tank engine was working harder than ever. He was feeling very exhausted, all because he's been taking passengers along his branch line. And all the engines were very busy as well. One day, Mr. Quinn soon discovered that the pastors didn't take any buses for their trip to home, and he decided to send one to help them out on the railway. Bethany, the white engine, had arrived at the station, and she was waiting for her next journey. Near her stood the green bus. He didn't look friendly to the other engines. The bus growled as he gazed at the happy passengers. Bethany arrived at the junction, and she told Christopher about the green bus. As soon as Christopher arrived at the goods yard to drop his train off, he noticed the blue bus had just stopped on the bridge and was talking to Clyde about the railway. He was shocked to hear what they are saying, but hoping he kept himself very quiet so no one can hear him. Later in the afternoon, Christopher met Bethany again at the next station. The next morning, the engines were preparing for their home were rushed. As they arrived with their train at the station, they discovered something was missing. And Christopher was right. Clyde stood there outside wearing a large sign saying, Railway Bus. And soon enough, she set off. Bethany wanted to pay Clyde out, but she wasn't sure how. She soon puffed up across the bridge. She noticed the man waving the red flag. That meant danger. The bridge had crossed the narrow road, and there was Clyde, wrenched firmly under the bridge. Clyde was ashamed, and soon Bethany has to help the passengers, and she puffed carefully crossing the bridge. Clyde suddenly felt very frightened as he felt the bridge quiver. And once after Bethany had made it to the station, all the passengers came to catch their trains, and everyone was happy. And as for Clyde, he was punished by Mr. Quinn, and was now a hen house, and the bridge was mended as well, and his lies can do no harm. The hens had never listened to them anyway, and Clyde never learned since.